another drop. To the right are the gardens, check. The way to the town square leads across the tree route, and if I follow the path in the other direction, I'll come to the edge of town. Hmm. Nice garden. Just look with your eyes. No touching. Hmm. What a sturdy looking rake. It probably belongs to the Hare family. It could come in useful. Hey! Hey, you! What are you doing with our family rake? Oh, uh, uh, I'm just borrowing it for a moment. Last night the wind blew all these leaves onto our lawn. Oh, yeah, all right. Oh, off you go. Those leaves aren't going to rake themselves. Hey, you. Everything okay? <sighs> Coffee. Somebody's shirking dish duty. I'm meditating. That's a lot of mailboxes. There's a lot of room in our house. And a lot of hairs. We have even more tunnels than the wood dwarfs. Of course, there are only three of them. What a strange statue. The upper half is missing. And now it no longer has eyes. Another drop. Memo, we need more blue juice. Well, the barrel looks empty, but the tap can still be used. There's not even one bee inside, but judging by the sweet smell, the bee's only just left. The lollipop already looks a lot tastier this way. How odd. I thought crows were a problem here. Why would they build a statue to them? Another drop. The pumpkins here are incredibly big. On the other hand, I have been talking to mites that are my size. By comparison, a giant pumpkin is almost unspectacular. Hedgehog Brothers Carpentry. What can we do for you today? Hmm, nobody here. Wow, what a big leaf. Hmm, strange. And locked. Another one. Step right up and admire the goods, but make sure that your eyes stay in your head. Although, that wouldn't be a problem, because we have outstanding glass eyes among all the things you can buy here at ridiculously low prices. Ridiculously low. At Church Mouse and Sun. Glass eyes? And much more. The travelling merchants, Church Mouse and Sun, have everything you've ever wanted, will want, and will need. Even though you don't know you want it, will want it, or will need to have one of it. You talk like an actor. I have a funny you should say that. <laughs> but let's get down to business. What do you need, boy? The church mouse and son have everything. I'm looking for something tasty. Maple syrup cheesecake. With walnuts? Even better. A mud pie with twigs and rocks in the shape of a heart. Mud pie? Ugh. Thanks, but no thanks. It's very realistic. Mud fans know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Isn't that right, Junior? He'll be taking over the whole shop soon, and then I'll take a, a well-earned retirement. Soon you can sell your own mud pies. Junior? <laughs> He's shy, but a terribly good businessman. I believe in him really, really strongly, you hear? Junior, it's so nice to know that your golden years are secure. Well, then 
Take this one time only, a small uh, but exquisite promotional gift. A, a, a red thread for you. Here, uh, let me tie the thread to your uh, amusing round coin. Which, by the way, will not be accepted as payment. Very decorative. Thanks. The high quality red thread I gave you uh, should lead you back to Church Mouse and Son uh, whenever you need exquisite things. Things of every kind. Pretty things, tall things, small things, white things, bright things, filled things, spilled things, things with sugar, things with mud. Yeah. Silly things. Okay. If you're looking for things, come to Church Mouse and Son. But don't take too long. Soon I'll be handing my business over to my talented son so that I can retire to the Coconut Palm Islands. We're still saving up enough money for the trip. Isn't that right, Junior? Junior? Thank you. I'll be sure to come in if I need... Things! Need things. We have stuff, too. All right, things and stuff. And junk. Things, stuff, and junk. Now you've got it. What a weird statue. There's a little stone face in the crystal. And some kind of amber thing. Hmm. I hear a fine sound. Very, very softly. Like someone flicked a glass. Another drop. And another. Another one of those stickers. Another one. Nice view. From here you can see the cafe and the city wall. And one of the mouse guard's cannons. A sad human face behind Ivy. I wonder who painted that. Hey, who are you? I've never seen you here before. Nonsense. He came through here earlier today. Yeah? Yeah, together with a rabbit with weird red eyes. Well, I remember that one. I'm Jerry Hazelnut, magician in training. Magician? You? I might have bought that from your friend with the red eyes, but... Oh, why do I have to stand guard out here while you get to have fun? Another drop. Welcome to Masswood, newcomer. Your friend with the red eyes seemed familiar to me. Here's some well-meaning advice. From me to you, stay within the town, all right? The crows are circling low over the woods today. A sticker. Hello? Hey, what? Did somebody say something? I think I have to get up there if I want to have a real conversation. Hello. Why are you up here? I was assigned to cannon duty. We had a big crow problem here. Well, have. We even had to evacuate the town. That sounds horrible. Well, it was. So if I see one of those horrid creatures, then kaboom! <laughs> Usually they fly out the northwest. I have to keep my eyes open all the time, even at night. Paws off! The cannon has to be ready for the next crow attack. Imagine a critter like that flying right into the town hall. Again. Usually they fly out the northwest. I have to keep my eyes open all the time, even at night. And another. Another drop. Hmm, 
This owl statue looks incredibly wise. It must have seen all kinds of things swim, float, and gurgle past in the brook. Hello, Mr. Squirrel. Please, everyone calls me Spitzbank. No need to be formal with me. By the way, in case you're wondering, I'm a suspect. Oh, I, I didn't know that. The way you're packed, it looks like you're ready for some adventure. I'm an adventurer and scientist. And on my latest expedition, I will travel the seven seas to document the differences in their flora and fauna. Just look at all the maps in my backpack. The beauty of nature is manifested in its subtlest, most delightful way in these loving records. Yes, I'm on an enormous adventure, and it begins here at home in our humble cold water brook. Oh, that sounds exciting. But why aren't you on your way? That much ocean must take an awfully long time to explore. Tell me about it. I wanted to complete the first leg with a traditional mousewood leaf boat. I ordered it from the Hedgehog Brothers. They are the most talented and reliable craftspeople people here in the woods, you know. All they had to do was float the boat down the cold water brook to me. But I've been waiting here for a while now. Say, you wouldn't happen to be heading for the pumpkin patch on the edge of town, would you? If you could ask about my boat at the Hedgehog Brothers workshop, you would be doing me a big favor. No problem, I'll take care of it. There's a big fish flapping its fins at the bottom of the brook. I think it's waiting for someone to open the barrier. Securely locked. Wow, the whole town fits under the tree. Any bird who built a nest up on a branch would have a magnificent view. I wonder if mice and squirrels live like this in our woods. Did I always just take a wrong turn in the woods at home? Are you the Hedgehog Brothers? There yeah, we are. Where can we help you? I'm Jerry, Magician's Apprentice. Mr. Spitzweg sent me to ask about his boat. Ah, oh, Spitzweg's probably been waiting at the catfish barrier for hours. Unfortunately, our tools have disappeared. They were brand new. I bet there's a green hat behind it. Ah, don't be silly. Our dad told us about green hats. We were four years old. Even so. They sting tools and they open up drafts and cause you to catch a cold. It's a fairy tale. And all those little footprints everywhere, are they a fairy tale too? I'll take a look around for your tools. Thanks. That'd be a big help. <laughs> just need to get past you for a second. Yeah, sure. What's the problem? No problem. Just pay 500 leaf bucks. Now. That's what it costs if you want to cross the cold water brook bridge. That's how much the troll costs. You mean toll? No, I mean troll. Leave the talking to those of us who don't make mistakes. If we did that, the whole world might go silent. Everybody but me, that's right. Huh? And maybe my babysitter, Anya, she says I'm an extremely gifted child. I can stand her, more or less. Well, almost. But how can we possibly negotiate if I'm not supposed to talk? Fine, fine. 300 leaf bucks. 300 leaf bucks? Oh, right. You must be a government official if you wield this kind of authority. Is there a magician's apprentice discount by any chance? Normally, magicians' apprentices get financial aid. I have to cross the bridge for educational purposes. Educational purposes? Discount? Be glad you have the opportunity to get through here at all. 
300 leaf bucks. That's the fee. Pay up or stay on your side of the bridge. It's no loss to us. Hmm, I'll be back later. What a little cutthroat. I can't get into a fight with a little kid. I'm just too good natured. I have to find a way to get over the bridge without dangling him over the side by one leg to teach him a lesson. Oh. So... Nah. And another. Hmm. Dessert is always better when you eat it before the entree. What is the entree for, anyway? Another drop. Okay, I'll tell you what. You give me the lollipop and I'll let you go through. Just this once. Deliciously unhealthy. Actually, I think the honey made it even healthier. Can't be. Healthy things don't taste good. Since when are weird weasels like you are health experts anyway? Seems like animals can do anything here. I wouldn't be at all surprised by a weasel that's a health expert. Someone is being attacked by a crow. Hey, it's Ursula. Oh man, I think he's serious. I shouldn't get too close. I have to help Ursula. Well, if the pigeons in the park go for this kind of thing. At least Anya's cupcakes seem to appeal to birds. Maybe I can flick the antenna to chase off the crow, but I can't reach the antenna. This thing is huge. It smells pretty leathery. I wonder who lost this. The shoelace still looks quite usable. I'll take it with me. The large river back there has burst its banks. Looks like everyone had to leave in a hurry. Maybe I can use this to flick the antenna and give the crow a good whack. Gotcha! Drat, it won't budge. Oopsie. Oh well, who needs that antenna anyway? Hmm, now I can throw the rope, just like a grappling hook. Leave the little owl alone or I'll let you have it. There, now you're in for it. Hmm. 
no reason to thank me. I, Magician's Apprentice, Jerry Hazelnut, gladly help wherever I can. I saw everything. You're a hero. Not really. You're just like my friend Uli. Unfortunately, he's... Oh, well. Here, take this. What is it? A flyer. A mouse has to make a living, you know. Wow! He said I'm a hero. I'd better take you home now, Ursula. You can ride in my backpack. She was still clutching a crow feather. Did Ursula pluck that from the crow? Here's a handwritten note. Beware, this is crow territory. For as long as it's unsafe by the river, I will be broadcasting from the swamp. Mousewood Radio, the voice of Mousewood won't give up. Signed, Ludwig Borrower. P.S. All right, I do give up. Now the swamp path is flooded as well. I'm going to be off the air until it's cleared. The building is a shambles. I can't shake the feeling that the crows around here are pretty unpleasant company. A sticker. Hmm. The front wheel is frozen to the spot. <sighs> Can you believe it? But the weather has been really strange around this tree for the last couple of weeks. And now, it's even started to snow up there. Oh, I've got too much to do. But without my mail bike, I can't deliver the mail. Hmm, that's the same symbol I saw in my magical letter. The sign of the tree walkers. Maybe somebody left that here because there is a tree portal nearby. There's only one keg of blue juice left. Looks like Mousewood is running out of blue juice. Blue juice. Every keg a treat. Only two leaf bucks. Take a jug for some good luck. A quality product from the friendly wood dwarves. There's an asterisk next to the word friendly and some small print at the bottom. The purchase or consumption of this wood dwarf product in no way obliges the wood dwarfs to treat their customers in a friendly manner.